I am Angeline Davis and this is your Amethyst 101. Amethyst is a very, very old gemstone. It's got a lot of mythical legend and folklore attached to it. It goes back as far as the Neolithic period, that's 4000 BC, and actually pieces of jewellery have even been discovered at burial sites 2400 BC. It has featured strongly in Greek mythology with tales of wealthy lords who wanted to hide their sobriety and apparently they'd drink from amethyst goblets using this purple hue of the crystal to disguise their water as wine. Throughout the years, amethyst's association with piety and celibacy has seen it worn frequently by bishops, priests and cardinals. In the 1700s, Queen Charlotte of England owned an amethyst bracelet that was worth £200 at the time, and actually in today's money, it would have cost over £50 million. In centuries following this, numerous new finds of this gemstone have sort of dwindled in financial value. And to this day, people's fascination with this enchanting gemstone seems to be unwavering. So what seems to draw people to this amazing gemstone is absolutely, undeniably, this beautiful purple hue that it's got. It's just so bewitching and beguiling. It's just got this draw to it. But of course it is available in another variant and that's of course green. You may have seen it before, the gorgeous, gorgeous minty spearmint colours of praseolite. So as we've mentioned, it's available in varying different tones and that can depend on its location. Definitely it can be seen in its famous chocolate box purples, but it can be seen in pinks actually. And that's actually the famous Rose de France amethyst. And that sits at a very particular point on the colour chart. Now this gemstone connects with loads of other gemstones and it's got this beautiful otherworldly charm which is rooted in its enchanting colour and its amazing clarity. Frequently considered as a symbol of peace of mind, it's become exalted in the crystal healing world with many claiming it changes negative energy into positive and that it can even realign chakras. This is bolstered further by its association with four zodiac signs, along with it being widely worn to represent the birthstone of February. Now, although you can't absolutely claim that an amethyst will stop you from getting drunk, there is a lot of legend and folklore, but one thing is absolutely for certain. This gemstone with its beautiful colour, its unwavering clarity, is going to go on for many thousands of years to come. So don't forget to like this video. Like this video, please. Thank you. Hit subscribe. Hit that a lot. Write a comment. Say, it's amazing. I loved this video. And make sure you find it all on gemporia.com. And don't forget, if you want to follow me, that's Angeline Davis Presenter on Facebook. It'd be great to see you there as well.